<laughs> this is gonna be fun. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here stranded on a deserted island. I built this hut with my own hands. Sure, whatever. I was thinking about the games I would bring with me if I was stranded like I am now in real life on a totally realistic deserted island and not in some random playground equipment that we had laid around. Very convincing, Dad. Thank you. You're doing great. <laughs> here are my top five games I'd bring with me if I was stranded on a deserted island. Number five on my list would be Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. This is a game that I'm just good at in the beginning and just not good at near the end. I've never knocked out Mike Tyson. I've beaten him once via decision, but I've never knocked him out. No, I'm sure I don't need to tell you too much about Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I love the creativity. I love the giant characters. Um, you can play this game however you want to play this game. You can play it very defensively, so you just stand there and wait for them to attack to dodge and then come back and start punching them. Um, I've seen speedrunners play this game where they intentionally um, wear themselves out to get them, you know, to get the opponent just start wailing on them and that's when they come back and just make a great comeback. If you knock them out or punch them out at a certain time period or something, they stay down for good. It's insane what these speedrunners are doing with this game. It's a game as much as I play it, I still keep playing it. So this is a game that would last me a long, long time. It's always fun to have in the collection. Maybe not to play primarily, but just to come back to, to play a couple rounds or have some fun in between games. Love this game. I'll never get sick of this game. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, definitely on my top five favorite items. Keep coming back to this game. Number four, I was thinking about a sports game, and what about Super Tecmo Bowl? No, it's no secret, especially if you've watched my channel, I'm not the biggest sports fanatic. But I like sports, it's okay. But something like Super Tech Mobile would have, again, an unlimited gameplay value because you can try playing through the game or try beating the game using different teams. I love the fact that Seattle's on this game, but they don't play the best. <laughs> as far as as far as the Tecmo Bowl players go, uh, however, um, you know it's depending on who you choose, depending on what you're playing as, you know, different stats for different teams. Um, th this game is just an easy pick up and play, even if you never liked football. And I had friends who just didn't care for it at all, didn't know anything about it, but they could still play this game because you know easy to pick your plays, easy to follow up with your plays. It's a great game. I mean, it's it's one of the best. It's it's definitely the best uh, football game, maybe even the best sports game. I think. Uh, on the NES. So if I'm stuck playing the same five games over and over and over again, a little, little, little variety, a little mix it up. Super Tech Mobile would definitely make my list. Was one of those yours yet? If not, let me know in the comments which games you would bring with you on a deserted island. My third pick may shock you. Number three, I was thinking about an RPG, and my favorite's Final Fantasy. Now sure, you could go the Dragon Warrior route, or Dragon Quest as they call it now, uh, but I just love Final Fantasy, and it's not the longest RPG out there as well. I mean, if you've played even the later on Final Fantasy games, if you go back to the first one, and you're just like, this actually, it, it, things speed through pretty quickly, and I kind of like that about this game. There's just enough level of grinding. You can grind as much as you want, but you can also make your way through pretty easily uh, without having to grind too much. And then the multiple gameplay in this game where you can play through the game as your favorite setup. Now my personal favorite is the fighter, the black belt, the black mage, and the white mage. But you could try playing through this game as four thieves if you'd like. That'd make it quite the challenge. You could try playing this game with like, you know, two fighters and two red mages. I don't know. There's a lot of, you can go on with this game. Um, and I'm just a huge fan of Final Fantasy. Always have been. This is the one that kicked it off for me. It's still one of my favorites based on nostalgia. And I just love Love, love this game. I just love everything about it, and I'm so glad to see that Final Fantasy The Legend continues today, different from what it used to be, uh, but the um, the legacy lives on. And of course, the old joke is, what, there's 15 of them? That was the Final Fantasy. Well, you know, <laughs> I can't help you there. Number two on my list is Kickle Cubicle. One of my favorite puzzle games for the NES. Uh, there is a finite amount of levels. But there's a ton of them in this game. I love this game too. You just freeze the enemies, you turn them into blocks, you push the blocks into the water, it makes a little platform, you pick up your red magical bags of whatever, and move on to the next stage. Love the characters, love the music, love the cute factor that they have in this game. And it's a game I play through, all the way through, about once a year or so. I'm a huge fan of this game, so if I was only stuck playing five games forever, it's a game I could always come back to and would never get sick of it. And the fact that I've been playing this game every year, all the way through, for the last I don't know how many years, <laughs> proves that I'll never get sick of Kickle Cubicle.
Before I get to my first pick, I wonder what Jay from Square Pegs would choose if he was stuck on a deserted island. Hi everybody, I'm Jay from the channel Square Pegs. John asked me if I would let him know what my deserted island game would be for the NES. And I kept thinking about it, and I was kind of waffling between a lot of different decisions. Super Mario Bros. 3 is a superlative game, one of the greatest of all time. Castlevania 3 is one of my favorites, and Battle of Olympus is up there for me. But I kept thinking, there's one in particular. And for me, that game is Mega Man 2. I have played and beaten Mega Man 2 hundreds of times throughout my life, and it is truly my favorite NES game. So if I could only pick one NES game to play for the rest of my life, it would be Mega Man 2. Back to you, John. For number one, I would go with Tetris 2. Now, sure, you could go with Nintendo's Tetris, you could even go with the Tingen Tetris, but I think I'll give it up to Tetris 2. Now, Tetris 2 is Tetris Flash. Um, it plays more like Dr. Mario than Tetris. It maybe should have been called Dr. Mario's Tetris, or something like that. <laughs> but it plays more like that, and I think I actually kind of prefer this one. Unlike Tetris, where you have to clear out the rows, this one, like Dr. Mario, you have to clear out the blocks specifically. And you do so by just stacking those colors on each block, and you see the, um, you know, the, the, the pieces of four, they kind of separate a little bit too, and that might be to your advantage. It gives you a few more pieces you can play with anyway. This one, unlike the first Tetris from Nintendo, features a two-player mode. Not going to do me a whole lot of good on a deserted island, uh, but great if you have another friend, or you can also play the AI, and that's always fun too. Huge fan of Tetris 2, so making my number one spot for deserted island games, Tetris 2. It'd give me all the gameplay I needed, super fun game, Tetris 2, check it out. And those are my picks. Hello. Hey guys, what are you eating? That ice cream? What that the, that's the black and tan from... I mean, didn't you say that this was a dessert island? Oh, yeah. Did, did, I, did I say deserted island? I meant to say dessert island, so don't mind us with our fancy, fancy ice cream. We have rescued you with delicious. Oh my goodness, this blue moon. It's a Wisconsin tradition. So good. And I'm eating butter beer, which is really good. Don't do alcohol, kids. You're a kid. He's a teen. That's true.